hello guys and welcome to the channel so in today's video i'll be teaching you guys how to preview your app in this um, responsive frame so as you can see um, i have my app previewed in the ios um, device frame but i'm currently running on a linux um, machine which means i can't um, view how my app will look like on an iOS but there is possible in flutter so in today's video i'll be showing you how you can preview your app on multiple devices as you can see right now i've selected a samsung s20 model and now i have my app um, previewed in that device and you can um, you can select any device you want and you can even create um, custom devices if the available ones don't meet your need um, the benefits of this is you can easily preview how your app will look like on um, multiple devices so for instance if i want to look at how my app will look on a small tablet i can choose the small tablet mode and then i get a preview of how my app will look on a tablet so let's get into the video and implement this in flutter so i have a simple flutter app um and in the home of my flutter app i have this home page stateless widgets which i'm returning from the text of home page in the body right so to enable the device preview on this project first go to a path spec that yaml and under the dependency section um, add the device preview package okay. and with the help of auto, the auto complete um, just choose the right version so i'm going to use the 1.10 which is the latest version as at the time i'm recording this video uh, after saving the file um, flutter PubGet should run automatically and this package should be part of your project so go to your main dot that file and we would have to make some few changes here inside of this run app function we are not going to pass in my app directly but then we are going to pass in a device preview of my app so this is how we do it first clear my app in the run app and then add the device preview package so just type in a device preview and this device preview um, accepts a builder right and this builder is a function that retains my app so i'll just accept this suggestion and this is the first step of enabling the device preview but we don't want this device preview to be enabled at all times um one of the cases where we don't want this device preview to be enabled is when we are in release mode so when our app is in production for that reason the device preview has the enabled um, property on it and then we can set it to not k release mode so what this not k release mode does is it checks if we are in production mode or we are in debug mode but we first have to import this k release mode so i'm going to import it auto import and that's it for the run up and in our material app we have to also make some few changes so the first one is we have to enable use inherited media query and then set it to true and we also have to set a builder right so this builder is going to be device preview dot app builder and we have to add a last one which is the local right and this local is going to be device preview dot local and then we pass in our context so this is the requirement for a device preview after adding this lines and then changing your roundup to a device preview the device preview should work but as you can see it's not working so what you have to do is it's either you hot restart your app or you um, stop your app and run it again so I'm going to stop the app and then run this app again yeah so after running my app 
you can now see that my app is in a new frame right i'm now having my device preview working and you can toggle this device preview either on or off so if you want to preview the app in um on your actual um, device you can toggle it off or if you want to preview it in this um, this device preview you can also toggle it on and there are so many devices to choose from so when you come to the model section you can choose an ios and um, preview so i'm going to go for ios 13 and i realize it automatically add certain features such as centering the um, title right and if you are using um, widgets like circular progress indicator dot adaptive on the ios um, preview is going to turn to the respective ios version and the android is going to turn to the android version so that's the benefit you get with the device preview and there are lots of devices you can choose from um, both mac os windows linux or you can even create your custom width and height if you don't like any of the options available so this is the device preview package and thank you very much for watching if you like this video don't forget to hit the thumb button and then subscribe as well thank you very much